Hello and welcome back to our DCOM tutorial series. Today we are going to be talking about editing the title screen. Um, now this is a topic everyone always wants to learn about and we are going to be briefly going over it today. So we have our background that we want to insert. Uh, the main thing that you need to make sure for this background is that it only is going to end up as 256 tiles when it is done. Uh, in the current setup for the GBA title screen we are uh, loading this layer on a 4 BBP mode, which means that we can only hold 16 colors total, um, and we can, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, we need to make sure um, that that is all the amount of tiles that we have, and that is the amount of uh, in the, the, the palettes that we have. Um, so how we create this palette, we went over this creating this tile set in the uh, last video on tile maps. Um, so we uh, open just any old, uh, we just open tile map studio. We go to input here on this image. We go to Samaya, then we click some random file. We're just going to replace this one because it doesn't matter. We want to click the mode that we're in. We're in GBP, GBA tiles plus four BBP palettes, and we're going to hit OK. It's going to convert. And here we have our tile map. Um, now we <clears throat> need to make sure to save this as a bin file. Sometimes it'll save it as a dot tile map file. If uh, it's saving it as a tile map, you just do save as, and then you just type dot bin afterwards. Uh, you just type dot bin and then it'll automatically save it as a dot bin file. Um, but before we do that, we need to make sure to change the palette. Uh, well, actually first let's resize it. So resize to 32 by 32 because that is what the Rayquaza image is uh, resized at. If we want to check out the Rayquaza image for our, um, you know, just to see, um, this is what the background normally looks like. Um, so we're just mimicking this. So we have uh, added, a, we have increased the size to 32 by 32. And now we're going to check the palettes. So the palettes for this tile map here, as we can see, is on E. So that means that the palette for this, uh, sorry, excuse me, this tile map is saved uh, in the eighth position, which is uh, 14, or I guess 15 if we're going starting at one. Uh, so it's the 15th palette or the 14th palette. Um, so we need to do the same. We need to go over here and we need to click on E and we need to, that was D, but it doesn't matter because I'm not using this tile set anyway. I've already done it. Um, so we need to just color in this tile map to save the palette data. Um, and that will save the palette data for our tile map. Um, so after we export the tile map, this has already created a tile set. It's created a tile map. We need to insert them into this folder. So I've added them down here. We need a, these are the files that you need to have. You need to have a tilemap.bin file, a, a PNG file with your tile set in it, and then we're going to need a palette file. Now this palette file, we are going to open our tile set that's been created already in in graphic scale or whatever palette exporting software you have. Um, we need to export this palette again. If you already exported the palette for your main image, the tile map creator changes the palette orientation when it creates this palette. So we need to export our palette again. We need to save it again. You might even need to reduce the color depth again. You might need to reduce the color depth down to 16, assuming you're creating a 16 BBB image or a 4 BBP image, which we are if we're doing, if we're doing the background for the currently set up title screen. Um, so we're going to export this palette again, make sure we export it again, and then we are going to insert it into this folder. Now while we're here, we might as well also uh, edit some other stuff. So we are going to look at press start. Um, we are going to edit press start. So how this uh, is working is it's uh, going across. So we just need to, uh, I've already edited this, as you see it says Team Aqua. Um, so you just need to edit this, keeping in fact that it's going across. Uh, when you get to the end here, it's inserting what's on the end here. And then when you get to the end here, it's inserting what's on the end here. And it's going across the screen like this. And the press start section is going to be above the Team Aqua section. And it's going to be separated. Um, so you know, when you're editing this, be aware of that uh, and be aware of how it's going to uh, show up on screen. It's just going to take a second to get used to. Um, now for the uh, name of the Emerald version, I'm actually going to show uh, in here uh, what I did. So this is, again, it's split in half. It's split in half and this side is 
brought around uh, and it's attached to this side. So when you're creating it, you need to split it in half and put this half down here. You might need to reorient, you might need to move it up a bit or move it down a bit if you're offset, if it's kind of like each section is disconnected a bit. Um, but you just uh, replace this. This is just a sprite, just a normal PNG. Just replace this file uh, with your with your name uh, and it'll automatically uh, you know, change as long as you haven't uh, added any new colors or changed the palette. If you wanted to change the palette of the version name, uh, then you would have to export the palette as well. Um, the palette for press start is uh, here, and the palette for uh, and the palette for the emerald version is here. Um, so anyway, um, actually, that is uh, now that I think about it, those are. Those are already converted palettes, so you're going to have to uh, find where the palettes are. Let me go. I didn't plan for this bit. So the palette is stored in title screen. Oh, it's stored here as well. It's just stored as an 8. That's per pixel palette. Oh, here it is. Um, no, that's not it. Why? It's saying it's here, so I'm not sure. I, oh, it's pulling it from the image. Okay, uh, some of the, well, the 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 palettes can be pulled from the images as well uh, with the way that the repo is set up. Uh, so the palette is being pulled from the image itself. That's why it's not showing up. So. Um, in that case, uh, you don't have to worry about that as much. Um, yeah, that was very confusing. Um, so anyway, we are going to now look at actually changing our stuff in code. So to start with, we are going up to the title screen. We're going to source title screen.c. We're going down to the line 57 and we are changing title screen Requaza graphics and title screen Requaza tile map. And we are just going to insert the names of our tiles of our tile set and our tile map. In this case, they're named the same thing. It's just a .bin versus a .4bbp. Now you're like, oh, I don't have a .4bbp. I only have a .png. This is an auto-created file. Like I said, the only files that we need uh, from here are we need the Samaya tiles, we need the Samaya tiles, and we need the Samaya, uh, the palette file right here, uh, the palette file. So those are the only files that we need for this, uh, on top of, you know, the edited press start and uh, Emerald version stuff. But, so we are now going to scroll down to CB2 in a title screen because there's one main thing we need to do. We uh, are taking out the clouds because they're going to be really messed up with the fact that we've A, changed the palette and B, uh, changed the background so the clouds are just going to look like, they're just going to look bad. And we're going to comment them out. That's just simple enough. We're just commenting out the palettes. And then one final thing, we're scrolling down to the bottom. Update legendary marking color. We're just going to add a return here. So we're just going to return early. Uh, you could have just taken out the call to this. Uh, wherever it was called, it's called somewhere up there. It doesn't matter. It accomplishes the same thing. Um, this is just the Requaza coloring it lights up uh, on a timer. And it is going to affect our palette. It's just going to light up a random palette uh a random index in our palette, um, the 15th index, I guess. Uh, and we don't want our background being lit up. Um, so at th that's as basic as uh, replacing the title screen graphics are. We just have to replace the uh, the, the the variable here, the, the uh, included graphics image, and then we have um, our title screen working already once we compile. So we can uh, compile our game and go to look at the title screen and we can see here, as soon as it loads, uh, we have our own title screen that loads in. And uh, assuming you created the tile map properly, assuming you exported the tile set palette afterwards, and made sure that the tile map palette was loaded in the eighth slot in Tile Map Studio, um, in the eighth slot here we have slot uh, E, sorry, E, not eight, E. Uh, it made sure that E is the palette uh, for our tile map. 
Um, as long as you have done that and saved it properly as a bin file in this folder, replaced the bin file name here, we are going to have a loaded title screen that is going to look nice and uh, you know be whatever you want it to be. There's a lot more complicated things that you can do to this title screen.c file. If you want to create more uh, complicated title screens, you're going to look at the code here and you're going to uh, you know add more to it. So if you want to add a Pokemon sprite to the screen you could add a Pokemon sprite to the screen but that's going to uh, you know it's going to come with a uh, normal uh, sprite UI addition code uh, that I'm not covering in this video I'm not going to cover how to add a sprite in general how to add sprites to the screens uh, you can look at how it's done in the code here uh, if you want to see how some of these sprites are loaded into the screen we can see the load compressed sprite sheet is that's how it's called in this uh, in this instance for these uh, for the sprites that are uh, already in game the uh, you know the name and stuff um, but uh, you know you might not necessarily want to do it that way there are there are other ways to uh, add sprites into a UI um, but I again I'm not going to get too much into that we have a background we have a title um, and that is what is important for this video we have done basic editing of the title screen we have a background we have a title and uh, you know from there you can get more creative you can learn how the UI stuff works uh, it's definitely complicated but it's worth learning because there's a lot of crazy stuff that you can do with it um, but I'm gonna leave you there because we've accomplished what we set out to do in this video um, if you have any questions or comments make sure to leave them below or in the discord preferably if they're complicated um, so that we can help you out otherwise uh, we will see you on the next one